All right, Zach, we're going to watch your butterfly here uh, above water. And it's always good to just have some multiple views so we can see different things that we're looking at that we think we can work on and things that we really, really like. All right, so our hands enter out of the water here and are exiting. You can see your left hand here is just a little bit ahead of that right hand. Make sure you keep those arms together at all times. It's kind of considered a non-simultaneous stroke. And again, you're doing a little, a lot of fly during these, so we do kind of understand that your fly kind of breaks down a little bit, and, and everybody's fly, I mean, breaks down a little bit as we do more and more of these 25s because they are so quick. But just think about keeping those hands together. And you can kind of see here, you got your elbow bent. This hand is in the water already. This hand's still above the water. So it's a very visible, non-simultaneous touch or non-simultaneous arms. And the other thing that we really want to think about here is, again, we talked about it a little bit underwater, but you can see that your palms are facing down. Remember, we want to turn those thumbs down, your pinkies up, just a little bit better. Great job of breathing early and excellent job of getting that head down before, that, um, before those hands enter. That's one of the things we always think that everybody needs to really work more and more on, and you do a great job of it. You have a Excellent job of breathing early, so keep that up. Good kick out there, too, as far as keeping two kicks, but you've got to be careful. Let me rewind this just a little bit. I want you to see what goes on with your legs here when you breathe, and we didn't see it underwater as much. We saw a little bit of a flutter kick from time to time, but right here, okay, you've got your breath, and if you look at your legs back in here, you're going to see a breaststroke kick as your head starts to go down. Right there, you can see your toes start to point out, and that's a little bit too much of a breaststroke kick. You've got to be careful, okay? Because if we're doing breaststroke kick, um, well, your legs aren't kicking correctly, right? So you've got to work on those legs, kicking straight up and down together. Nice job of trying to breathe every other stroke as well. I think if we can keep working at just making that strength a little bit stronger underwater, we're going to be great. Now, hands touching the wall. Excellent job there. All right. You don't want to try and lift your shoulders quite so up, and you don't want to be looking up this way. Make sure your eyes are focused on those hands that are on the wall, because that's probably one of the most important things. And one of the things we worked on, as I'm video, as I'm talking to you on this, one of the things we worked on today was worried about keeping your eyes down. All right. So here's the first thing. Remember, we want to elbow our brother, and that means that we're going to bring our right hand off the wall into your side and then we're going to call your mother and that means that left hand leaves the wall second what you're doing is you're going above the water first right and then you're going to go underwater with the second okay and you can see you got a little bit of confusion there too but even today with when we were doing these we saw a lot of above the water first and underwater second so remember it goes under then over as you push off the wall, you can see that your hands aren't quite streamlined and your eyes are looking a little bit more forward. Love how straight your legs are. That's excellent. But we want to make sure we're doing six dolphin kicks so we're coming out right here where the flags are. Okay? So you're still about a body length away from the flags with zero dolphin kicks. If you do six dolphin kicks, Zach, we're going to easily, easily get out past those flags. Great job of not breathing for a stroke. A-plus effort there. We always want to work on not breathing the last stroke into the wall or the first stroke off the wall, and you didn't breathe that first stroke. So way to go there. And again, really, kudos to you on breathing early. Keep up the great work, Zach. You're doing awesome. 